If you're moving to Davenport, Iowa, and you want that historical home, well, you're gonna wanna look at McClellan Heights. I'm gonna take you through McClellan Heights, show you what it's all about, show you the amenities around. We're gonna do that right now. Hey, my name is Alex Skeen. If you wanna know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play in the Quad Cities, you're really gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified every single time we upload a new video. So if you want us to help you out, figure out where you wanna be, give me a text, give me a call. Heck, send the Pony Express if you want to. We're here for you. I like to get you guys out, show you some neighborhoods that are in Davenport, Iowa, just so you know and understand what these neighborhoods are like. So if you're moving here, you can make a really educated decision on where you wanna be. McClellan Heights, is one of the best known um, historical districts with some of the biggest, oldest houses in the Quad City. It's located really close to the East Village, which I'll take you, show you some footage of the East Village, so stick around to the end so you can see what the village is like. But it's very well centrally located. A lot of these homes were built in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. So they are big, massive homes. And the people that live here are the ones that really like that old time architecture and seeing it still functional at this point in time. But if that's not what you're into, McClellan Heights also has some smaller bungalows closer to the middle road. Now this area does have some interesting history back in Civil War time. They, this McClellan Heights area was a staging ground for Civil War troops and they used this as a camp. When the Civil War was over, they wanted to, the community wanted to make this into a state park, but there's other people that really wanted to make it into a very nice housing development. Well, you kind of see what happened, it did end up becoming a housing development and it's pretty pretty cool development I mean yes it'd been awesome to have that state park but we have these amazing historical homes that are around here and it does make for a cool drive down the river none of these homes that I know of are in the flood zone it is uh, close to the river a lot of these homes right on the river or right along the river do have great river views now you probably have seen some of the homes as I'm walking along see what these older homes are looking like. Um, like I said, they're huge, very big historical homes. I mean, you can see this one behind me, obviously very beautiful. And as far as schools for this area, elementary, McKinley School is up there. And it, as you get further to the north in McClellan Heights, a lot of it is gonna be smaller bungalows. In fact, my first listing I've ever had was in McClellan Heights, really cool two bedroom bungalow. The only issue that I see with McClellan Heights, well, a couple issues, is because these homes are much older, a lot of times they're gonna have a lot more maintenance. So yes, they're beautiful, they're really cool to go see, but if you don't wanna do any maintenance or have a lot of upkeep, McClellan Heights homes may not be the homes for you. The other issue that I find uh, that people talk to me about is the yards. Now, like I said, this was possibly going to be a state park at one point. So they built it in this area that has a ton of hills. And because of that, the yards in this neighborhood typically, not always, but typically are super, super steep and kind of hard to take care of as well. I mean, you can kind of see, I don't know the camera does it justice, but this hill um, is very hard to mow. A lot of times you'll see people mowing it. They'll be, uh, you know, pulling a mower up with a string or a rope. And that is something to consider if you want to be in McClellan Heights, that your yard maintenance is going to be a little bit more difficult. A lot of the yards will have uh, retaining walls just to not have to have a big yard to mow that's on a super steep hill. So definitely something to consider. I keep talking about the hills being kind of a bad thing, but the thing that's really kind of nice about it is that the landscaping around here, people take a lot of pride in because they can do a lot with the side of a hill. The terracing really, really helps. They can do 
off a lot of plantings, a lot of bigger plants to try to hold the, the earth back so that it doesn't fall down the hill. So that is something that's kind of unique about McCullen Heights is that the neighbors have really great landscaping. Another thing that's kind of unique about McCollin Heights is, and I've talked about this in other videos, is that the Bix is ran through here. Now the Bix is ran in July and it starts in downtown Davenport, but where I'm currently standing is actually where they turn around. So I'm currently, like you said, on this street here, um, McCollin Boulevard, and the turnaround spot is right down over there. So if you wanna be right on this street, just know at the end of July that you will be having a lot of people come through. Um, I think this year we had, I wanna say 10,000 runners. So you're gonna have 10,000 people coming through this area, running, and even more because of all the fans that are gonna be around. So another thing that you really wanna consider if you're gonna be living right along the, the Bix route that you're gonna have a ton of people. Now along with the steep yards that I talked about earlier, you also have a lot of steep driveways. In the winter time, this is something to really consider. Driveways in the winter, if they get any kind of ice on them, any kind of snow, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to drive up. So if that's something that is concerning to you, uh, maybe you don't have a four wheel drive vehicle or anything like that, something that you need to think about because a lot of these homes do have that. Now, again, this is a generality. There are some homes that are gonna be um, flat driveways. And I said before, a lot of people will terrace it. So that's a pretty good example um, of it being terraced just so that they don't have as much yard work. Another thing, if you're into walking around, again, I've come back to this a couple times, is you're gonna be walking up a lot of hills. I personally do walk through this neighborhood fairly often. I have my dog and we go for a walk. We like walking the hills just because it gives you a little bit more of a challenge, maybe a little more cardio. But if that's not something that you're into but you really like the walking the McCullen Heights, it might not be for you. But on the flip side, you're not too far from the river which has the great bike trail system. And that's basically flat so you still want to walk you still want to be in McClellan Heights maybe just drive on down to the river and you know walk along the river instead of walking through the neighborhoods because it is going to be extremely steep most places that you're going so as an ode to everything that I'm talking about the hills I'm gonna walk up one of the steepest hills that is in this area that is Hillcrest Avenue and you can see it behind me and we're gonna see how much I'm breathing at the top once I get to the top I'm gonna take you in to the village of East Davenport and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that area and why people love it so much because the people from McCollin Heights they have easy access walking distance for most not every home in this neighborhood is actually extremely old there's actually some new construction in this area too that is a brand new home within the last couple of years one thing i really like about mcclellan heights is that it's central to just about anything i'm standing here right in lindsay park you can see behind me that we got the beautiful mississippi river but you know it's just such a wonderful feeling to be in one of these historical neighborhoods and to be central right close to the village of east davenport as well as having all those amazing architecture things that we talked about earlier so i'm right now in lindsay park which is right on the edge of the village the village of east davenport and it's a pretty integral part of the village of east davenport they have a lot of different events that go on here i know they have the uh, renaissance fair they have wedding events that go on here but it's also a really good place just to bring your dogs bring your kids they do have a playground right over there so it's definitely a place that you bring your kids bring your dog if you want to get out enjoy the weather and it's really nice no matter what time of year that you come now down where we're looking is the majority of the bike path so you can see the bike path down here this is 
railroad tracks and then River Drive is right here. You can see the cars going by. So you're right in amongst everything. You have a great view of the river. I particularly love to come here during the fall because all the leaves are changing and you can see for quite a ways in the fall and the winter time, these leaves are gone and you can actually see then to downtown Davenport from here. So it's definitely a cool place. And they even got a bench. If you don't want to be, you know, standing, you can be sitting and enjoy the sunsets and all of that. So definitely a cool place to come. Now we're gonna head into the heart of the village. We just left Lindsay Park, which puts us on the corner of Jersey Ridge and 11th Street. So this is really where the village starts. And right here, again, you're surrounded by history. Right here is the old fire station. And it does have an old fire truck in it. So it's a uh, you know, really kind of a historical place, but that's not the only historical place. If you look just across the street, I believe that used to be an old blacksmith shop which is now in a, uh, it's called Brew, and it's a restaurant bar. It's a really cool place to go, get some appetizers, but you'll see that a lot down here. A lot of these buildings are historical, but now they're filled with bars, restaurants, shops, and it's just a really nice atmosphere. The village itself is very well organized in getting these kinds of events together. I know they have races and stuff as well, so it's definitely a place to be if you're wanting to get into some entertainment type stuff. Right behind me is a softball field, if you come here during the summertime, you're most likely going to be seeing a softball game going on. They have many leagues that they do partake on this field, and everybody has a great time. Now, if I stop here, you look up the hill. Now, that building is now a apartment complex, but I believe it used to be an, um, an old schoolhouse, possibly. If I'm wrong and you're from here, let me know. I can't quite remember the history on it, but I do know it's an apartment complex now. They redid it. I had a friend that lived there. It's really kind of cool inside. Obviously, you got the historical pieces of it, but it's still pretty nice and still a great place to live if you're just looking to rent and you want to be really close to where all the action is happening. Now, Lago Marcinos is right here. That's another staple of the Quad Cities. It didn't start here in Davenport though. So that started in Moline, downtown Moline, and the original location is still there. But they do have a location over here. They are a chocolate candy shop. Um, very, very good. Some people say they may be a little expensive, but it's all about uh, perspective and what you really like. But if you look down here, you have a bar here and a bar there. And right at the end, you have a Living Street Precinct, which is a bar restaurant. They do have live music that goes on at 11th Street Precinct, as well as some of these other bars. So if live music is your scene, um, come on down to the village, check it out. And this is why people love living in McClellan Heights itself, because they are just walking distance to this little tiny downtown area that we call the village. And you have a lot of entertainment options as you get down here. And again, that's 11th Street. They just built a beer garden area, so it's all outdoors. You can go and take a look at that and see what that's all about. And as we come up on Mound Street and 11th Street, I'm going to show you one of my favorite sandwich shops. Now, if you are in the village and you want a good sandwich, check out Village Corner Deli. They are only open for lunch, so that is something to really consider, and that is located right behind me so very good place to go seating is a little bit limited inside so if you're going there make sure you get there early so that you can get a spot they do serve it pretty quickly but it is something to definitely consider right over here if you like wine there is wide river and that is a winery that didn't start here either but really good place to go they have locations in clinton they have locations in Leclerc, and then they have one down here. They might have a couple more that I'm not familiar with, but it is a good winery to go to. And again, this is why people like McCollin Heights, because they can come down here, see what it's all about, be entertained, and have one of those really cool architectured homes that are early, late 1800s, early 1900s. Are you interested in learning more about Iowa? Well, check out this video here to find out some more.